Good morning, everyone. Hope all is well on this Friday as we bring you another edition of R&R. &R. Coming to you from a little bit of a different location, trying to switch it up for you a little bit, and give you a, a different area and maybe some uh, insight that can be beneficial to you as you're walking this journey of faith. Um, I want to share a little bit about something that has been on my heart and mind uh, as we're entering into this coming month where we'll be talking about the power of love. Uh, but one of the things that I think we all struggle with sometimes is how do we learn to get along with people sometimes that it's not easy to get along with? And uh, maybe you don't have those kind of people that are like sandpaper to you, um, that when you get around them, they just rub you the wrong way and you have a bad attitude or you avoid these people or you tend to participate in gossip about someone that maybe you get some sort of uh, sense of uh, you know, justification in your own mind because of how you feel about them. The Bible makes it very clear that we're to, to try to get along as best we can. And I come to you from the children's area of our hospital because in our hospital of our church, this is a hospital for the hurting, but uh, this is an area where we bring a lot of kids in uh, throughout the week. Wednesday nights in particular, we sometimes have 40 to 50 kids down here. And at times it can be a real struggle because there's friction because kids at times are uh, not as mature as we are as adults and they sometimes get into little fights and quarrels but I've noticed that we as adults maybe we don't uh, do it as an obvious way that these kids do but sometimes we have our own way of quarreling and sometimes we can be very hurtful with our words and our hearts aren't in tune with the Lord uh, in Romans chapter 12 verses 17 it says Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. As the old golden rule goes, do unto others as you want them to do unto you, or as that you would have them do unto you. And that's what we want everybody else to do. That's not always what we practice. And in Proverbs, it says in uh, Proverbs 17 and 14, that the beginning of strife is letting out, like letting out water. So quit before the quarrel breaks out. You know, when you let out, let out a little water, if there's a little leak, uh, maybe in the dam, if you don't fix it, if you don't deal with it, it can become this tremendous torrent of water that is hard to control. And so the best way we can uh, do that is to get on top of our own feeling and our own emotions. And again, try to work out ways that can uh, be helpful to bring reconciliation and to restore fellowship. And even those that sometimes don't always act the way that you want them to, don't in return act that way but uh, find ways to build bridges and not always build walls and to help others uh, to find a better way and we be that we can be that example we are the example uh, to the world sometimes the very uh, difficult thing that we find in church we quarrel in a lot of ways similar to the world that we're trying to reach so and I'm not bringing this devotion because somebody's quarreling today so don't read too much into this but I do want you to realize that uh, we have opportunities every day to make a difference. Just like we try to get these kids down here in this area to work out their differences and to try to find common ground, I encourage you to do the same in your own personal relationships. Maybe there's a family member that's estranged or maybe there's some, some words that haven't been spoken to bring healing that you've sort of uh, not allowed yourself to venture into because you're fearful. Uh, there are ways that we can encourage one another. There are ways that we can help one another along the journey. And I think as uh, the Apostle Paul says in Romans, let us figure out ways to not build strife, but to build fellowship and to encourage one another as we walk this uh, faithful journey that the Lord has us on. You know, the more people that you engage with, the, the more likelihood that there will be some friction but that shouldn't hinder you from trying to help others and to reach out to others. And just because you've been burnt doesn't mean you should stop loving people. It's always a risk that you take, but I've found in my own journey that it's a risk that is well worthwhile. And as we do those things, we honor the Lord, we bless him, and we also encourage others. Because sometimes it's easy to make a judgment on someone based upon the way they act, but you never fully understand truly what they're dealing with. And just your kind words or a prayer that's lifted up for them can maybe help them along the journey. So I encourage you to, to be kind, to be considerate, uh, to be generous, 
and to allow God to work through you to maybe bring somebody a little light in the midst of a world that's filled with darkness. God bless each one of you, and I look forward to seeing you soon.